Welcome back to another vlog, guys. Um, today is a very, 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 very special day. I'm finally going bags. It's about that time. After three years. After three long years. For my struts, I went with the Air Force suspension. Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, Ray. The uh, salesman of Air Force helped me out and hooked me up really good. So if you guys want to know more about this brand, uh, comment down below and just send me a comment or email to us. And yeah, I'll tell you, give you the guy's number and he'll hook you guys up. And then for my management, I went with Airlift 3P. I got it for a really, really, really good deal, which that's why I couldn't pass it up and I had to pull the trigger. But yeah, I went with the dual compressors, a four gallon air tank, and a uh, thick quarter inch airlines. Uh, what else did I go with? I think that's it. These are AG wheels. Um, they, they are the M590s. And they are 19 by eight and a half in the front and nine and a half in the rears and probably at the end of this vlog it's gonna be tucking but yeah we have the car jacked up taking all the wheels now and i pretty much have a layout for my uh trunk and my lining on the floor cover which is back here? here i had subs on here right in the middle i don't know if you guys you guys kind of can see the imprint right there but yeah it fucked it up so like it kind of indented it down so i'm just gonna get rid of that i'm not, I'm not gonna use that um, make something custom right here i'm gonna be using some plywood for people that wants to know what kind of plywood i'm using this is a four by four standard plywood and the thickness is 1532 and that's like 4.439 or something thick i believe if i'm not mistaken but yeah this was only 16 bucks um i already have it laid out drew out what i just showed you guys in the sharpie line cut it out and this is what i'm gonna be using i bought fabric right here i decided to go with like a diamond kind of pattern which is i laid it out on there and it looks pretty dope hey y'all trying to go get on fortnite real quick yeah that like just two games so for whoever has a 2012 Mercedes Benz C300, formatic sport. I'm gonna be putting up these BC coilovers for sale. I probably only had it for like a year now, about a year. The coils? Less than a year. Less than a year. These are for all wheel drive only, no rear wheel drives. So sorry for those people that has rear wheel drive. This is for all wheel drive vehicles only. Uh, mainly for the Benz, there's only these two bolts right here. Um, this one is holding like the brake line and everything else. Um, there's three up here. Take those three out. Take these two out in that nut. And the thing should pop right out. And the whole axle will drop. And that's mainly how to take off the fronts. The rears are a little bit tricky. But we'll show you guys in a little bit. But for how I'm going to apply this onto the board is by using this gorilla spray adhesive which is it's new as you guys can see so it's my first time trying this out and see how it works as well uh, make sure whatever material you guys are using make sure it has it on the can like for example this one says wood and fabric is which the two materials i'm using for my trunk setup so i'm gonna be spraying this on there applying that on there and hopefully it'll work out huh you know maybe we'll see I don't know, brother.
much shit. <laughs> so we were just flipping it around oh, to see what it, the Fuck final product looked like. Don't kill it. And this and dude and there picked is it up. a hairy ass caterpillar on there. Oh, oh that shit. thing is stuck on there. Oh shit, that shit is hairy, bro. Oh, oh what the? Right now. Bet, I'll give you 10 Bet, I'll give you 20. What, oh. did you? Oh, bro. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the bag. Yeah, I'm poor caterpillar. <laughs> so as it, for the rears, there are two the the strut and the actual, the actual spring that your adjustment are actual separate from each other. So here's your actual strut, which is all your adjustments and preloads and that shit. And here's your spring that adjusts your height. As you guys can see, I'm maxed out in my rears. I well, actually, there's a uh, little cover right here that sits right up here so just take those off which you can like you guys can see the hole right here uh back there you just pop it off but yeah to just take off the rears you just take off this bolt which is 11 which is really weird numbers so 15 10 and 11 are for this side and for the wrenches uh would be this side i don't know if you guys can have a clear look of them you guys kind of can those three as well are the bolts so it, that one right here this one and that one this one is actually your actual strut this one is just for your uh link and this is actual for the axle pretty much so this one is a 16 millimeter socket or a uh, 16 millimeter wrench 13 millimeter and a 13 16 i believe wrench to get those three out and there's also to make it easier if you guys want there's another one back here uh if you guys can see it that would make if you guys you guys you guys don't have to take that completely off just unloosen it a little bit so this whole uh frame and axle arm could just drop and your that means your spring will just come out and your strut will come out so there's a little cover right here um there's like a little clip that clip right there where my finger is it's there's one right there and right there and this whole panel will come off and to get to it all it is there's a couple clips taking those off apply this back and as you guys can see it's right there those two nuts for the strut to come right out so unloosen those same thing with this side uh those two it'll come right off so that's all it is so now we have we're doing the front uh we have the driver's side bag in all tightened down and everything there's those two bolts right here those two bolts right here where my fingers are exactly on it tighten those down i would recommend uh either one really it don't really matter just get one of them in first and then the other one should be easy to line up same with this my end link right here as you guys can see adjustable end links i have it here to my sway bar already so and then this is just extra hole i don't know why which was supposed to be for my brake lines but actually has clips right here and these clips in there i have the strut extra strut in the actual bag right there which is what i'm about to put in right now so this is an actual bag right here for the rears and there's a airline fitting right there so it goes down straight like this as I showed you guys where the, uh, my spring was on my coilovers. This is replacing the springs right here. So um, this is the top and this is the bottom. As you guys can see that little black part is slanted. Uh, let me show you guys what we have it on the rear right now. Camera. So it's right, right there. So there's that nut and that black part I was talking, telling you guys about. And there's my bag right there. So you would take that completely out and you see how it's slanted and the uh, frame or the arm whatever you want to call it is actually at an angle as well so that makes sense for completely sense for it to go on it's slanted like that so we're tightening it down and i believe that's how it goes on so once that's tightened down that's that's not going nowhere now brian there you guys go he's airing out oh he definitely can go lower boys Oh yeah, boys. But he just got off of work. Um, Anthony gets off in two hours, right? It's six o'clock, I'm assuming, because it's oh, when he got off. My brother's at work. 
Yeah, he went to work. Uh, the hell? Yeah, your mom came out here and. Is that Brian? Yeah. Anthony? No, 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 you guys are here. <laughs> so, we're uh, working on this, so. <laughs> Alright, so. First of all, I got a haircut. <laughs> oh my god, is that in disguise? The second, second of all, um, we are trying to figure out how to run the airlines through the car. And um, I think we figured it out. I'm not sure. I haven't been working on the car. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what is going on. So we got a picture of this. Watermelon, strawberry. The management's going to be right here. And we're going to try to get the airlines up and out through the car. At least for the front. Um, the back, the rear ones, we already we already cut these holes right here. They they go in right there. Oh. So that that should work. Now we just actually have to execute everything. Um, Justin's over here still working on setting the airline, putting the airline in the bag itself. Um, he's already. Hey, if you guys are going this air suspension, especially Air Force. Um, I recommend mounting the lines before putting the bags on your on your car. So do your lines first because you have more room to work with. So yeah, run your lines before you put your bags on the car. Go. So, Don't be like these dummies. Make sure you measure out your how much lines you need before you actually put the lines on your car or on the bags. Yeah, that's how you know you're gonna make it. Yeah, what he said. And then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, look at Steven. Yeah, exactly. I'll, yeah. <laughs> The hard man right there. Oh, okay. Dude, Steven's stupid thick, bro. I like, I don't understand. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 Teddy, what is this? Whoa, whoa, What's whoa, this right whoa. here? Uh, What's that right here? Pop the merch, you know. Got yeah, the link below. Yeah, dude, link, link in bio. Click down below. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Um, me and Brian spent like a good, probably hour maybe maybe half an hour just trying to find a uh, airline to run to the front driver's side and they couldn't find was like, all right let me let me step through let me come let me slide through you know so i slid through to his dm i'm just kidding but um yeah i ended up finding one grommet that actually went through the firewall surprisingly and um, I saw it, okay, let me try this out. And I just found, uh, uh, stick the long screwdriver in there and had Steven actually push the screwdriver back and forth to, to see where I could see like uh, the panel moving. So I was like, all right, Steven, keep doing it. Um, I found it and I felt it moving. I was like, yo, all right. So I there it is, okay. So you guys can see the airline. There's a little grommet right there, right by the fuse box. Uh, just pop that right off with the screwdriver and you'll find the airline coming out right there and where that grommet is is literally um, you guys got to take off this panel in this box right here that I'm moving freely it's right behind this it's in there to the left if you guys if that makes sense just have a friend uh, push the screwdriver something super long and you'll see this panel move so just go ahead Stick your hand in your uh, hand in there and go to the left. I will show you guys, but it's not enough light, and you guys won't be see or be able to see it. Uh, there's none there. So take off the fender well. And then I'm gonna just pop out um, the fucking quarter panel. And then if you guys can see right there, boom, another grommet, which I just fished it through, and that line actually leads to this right here, which is in this crack, and you just fish it through in there, and it comes off right here. And well, bam, I'm gonna figure out, maybe drill a hole right here somewhere well, have the line come straight to my uh, port, and yeah. Now, the only thing really left is connecting the power to my compressor, but which, I don't understand why Airlift does this, but it makes, I mean, I already know how to install these wires and stuff, but just double checking on these um, diagrams that they make. Here's to the compressor, and here's a harness, right? So they have two of these splitters connecting each other, but on the compressor, 
they have these wires on the positive and negative. Here's a positive, which I have no understanding why they did that. Negative, I'm pretty sure it's the ground, but why would you just ground that when you got to connect it to the actual harness that has the copper shown? So what I did on brown was I did the same thing, just cut it, cut it, bare metal, and connect it with these. And had it together, so that's what I'm probably gonna do on mine, because it's I know for sure that's 100% it will work. System not calibrated, 101 psi. Yes, it's airing up. We put my wheels on. Um, we were trying to calibrate it, but that I'll, you guys see that in the next clip. I'll save that for tomorrow. It's too late. All right, guys, welcome back to day two of my bag install on my C300. Um, get, oh, I'm so tired, it's 11.30 in the morning. I woke up really early because I have things to do today, so I need this to be done today. We're adjusting both of my fronts. Um, hopefully the camera is good because I really do not want to take off the whole strut itself. Um, just need to adjust the height on it for sure. Um, the rears definitely adjust the height on as well. So yeah, let's get started. Look who decided to wake up, bro. Up, bitch. Look who decided to wake up and help me out. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not helping, bro. I'm just watching under the car. <laughs> this is the only main thing you could adjust. So for my rears, instead of taking every single bolt out, I just took out my sway bar and my strut. Those two bolts mainly, I just unloosed these, the main one, this one, and that rear one over there, I just left them tight and pushed my whole wheel, assemble it down, and it just popped off. So now, I already have this unlocked. As you, can, as you guys can see, this is where it was originally at, and all I'm doing is just turning this bottom part of it down, because I need, I need to raise it up a lot, and that's what I'm doing. It just moving it down not sure how much I need to we'll find out and as of right now this is the difference from what I had it from yesterday to now um, I'll figure out how much I end up needing to go so that's how you adjust your rears yo it is done after about I would say a full day actually like a 24 hour day it's finally done finished I still have to put my panels and everything back on, but as of right now, I got my right height set, my aired out set, aired up set, everything is set, good to go. I would make some adjustments, but I said, fuck that, I'm tired of it. Uh, the way it is right now, I like it. That's at 95 PSI in my rears, and this is at 50 or 60? That's at 80. My fronts? So 80 and 95 on my aired up height. So that's my right height in my front, 45. This is my right height in my rears, which is at 70. <laughs> so this is me aired out right now. Guys, I can go lower on this, but this is maxed out on my strut. Remember that, I'm maxed out on my strut. I have no threads to turn this bottomed out. Um, so this is my gap, which I can't do anything about it. Like, same with my, oh my god. Don't do it, Tom. Don't do it. Do it, Tom. Tell me to do it. Do it, Tom. Tell him all. You won't. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Guys, let's see. Oh say. my god. I almost tripped getting out of my car. Oh, look at it. Yo, this is crazy. Oh my god. Talking hard. Oh my god. I'm not even that low either. I'm just going to bed. Hell no, you can't. Jeez. By hell. 
that's my trunk setup for you guys oh um, sorry you guys got a little light but i got the diamond material on the floor Looks good. um That's new. yeah just like that four gallon tank two compressors 444 cc's um airlift version three my lines i was having it drill down here but that's too much work so i just have it hiding behind my compressor you can't really tell that well so now we're about to um go all the whole You just had to interrupt me, huh? So now that means there's two bagged uh, cars in Lomonati, y'all. We stepping up on the game. Brian was the first one to be bagged. Um, now I am the second one to be bagged. Who's gonna be the third one? I already know who it is, do you guys? Nope. Um, comment down in the section below, what do you guys think about the car? Give us it a thumbs up, please. And if you guys are watching the video and you guys like the video, like it and don't forget to subscribe because you, yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, baby. Steven just got off, first of all. What's up, Steven? What's up, How's work, bro? On the car, it brother? was pretty trash. <laughs> reaction on the car. But yes, um, we did change of plans and said we we're going to go to car wash. Uh, it's kind of too late for that. Um, and we had a tight schedule of what we were going to do tonight. So we ended up coming to the usual spot in Wichita. If you guys know about it. Boba Zone, boys. Um, all our cars are here at the lineup. We got Anthony's. We got mine right here. We have Brian's car. Uh, we have Andrew's car. Steven's car. And then John's car. Big moves coming for this car, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Big moves, boy. We got all the homies here. We are chilling here. I think we have Taddy pulling up over here in a little bit, so we might just wait for him here. I don't know yet. Did he say he was coming through? I told him that we were here. Oh, oh drink that straw, bro. <laughs> Dinos? Bro, why are you putting that hand behind me? Bro, have you ever been there? Because uh, you look cute. The they turned on the lights. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the So what was uh bubble down I got my cravings in. I think we all did as well. Um now we decided to go eat some Dempsey's. Now if you haven't been to Dempsey's up in Wichita, hundred percent recommend it. The burgers are amazing. Make sure you add egg on your every single burger you get. We just got done eating Dempsey's. Um Okay. All the homies. <laughs> what do you want to say to the vlogs, the viewers, bro? My name is Jeff. <laughs> John, what do you guys say for the, for the viewers? My name is Jeff. Get ready for a new setup. <gasps> Damn. What, what are you? Was that a little sneak peek? Not me. Huh? You, you, you get a new setup. Bro, I'm not. I don't even do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> See, what do you got to say for the viewers? What do I got to say? Yeah, what do you, you got to say to them? Well, let's cut. Come, come over here. Uh, come over here. All right. I haven't even gave you guys like my uh, opinion. Opinion about the car. <laughs> about my car? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, brother? To look at it. But Bro, that's like four fingers. Yeah, it's honestly not that what low. Is that? <laughs> But I know you it's, it's honestly okay. I know your ass was gonna say that. But I don't think that bags really made your car look any better because uh, it's kind of hard to. Oh, that's my job. But yeah, that's I what I gotta go. say. So. <laughs> All right, we're calling that out in the video. But yeah, uh, who? John, what do you got? I already asked Andrew. What do you got to say about the view? To the viewers, no, bro. In my ear, dude. I mean, it looks good. You know, I'm ready for a new setup. No, I'm just about anything in general, bro. What you mean? That's Not just pretty, what's your plans, bro? It's a pretty uh, straightforward install, so hey. I got, I got, I got something to. In the know. works. Oh, no. Something to do your bag. Something in the works. Savage boys. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe it really does mean a lot to us um we're really trying to do things in a really really small city so it's it's pretty hard if you guys come from what we're trying to say or what we're trying to do i guess i don't know car community is pretty tough out here so but yeah please uh leave a comment below what do you guys think about the bag install 
don't forget those BC coilovers are still for sale. So if you guys want them, comment below or email me or something. So and I'll ship it ship it out to you guys. Um, free shipping. I'll pay for the shipping myself. Psych, you pay for shipping. Um, yeah. So peace out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Hello.